good morning happy Sunday it's Sunday morning and I thought today I would pick my camera up and vlog and just like bring you along on my day today I have not vlogged in so so long and I have so much to update you guys on like a lot <laughs> it's Sunday morning I've had a lovely lovely start to my morning I got up super early it was just Albie here this morning although he has just left to go out with his dad for the day um, and the other two and I basically spent the morning I got up had a coffee read my book I've been reading this amazing like dog book called the happy dog owner I'll link it in the description I've been trying to improve my knowledge of dog training and dog behavior and things like that just because Elton is so much more of a hard he's very highly strung and because we got him at 16 weeks he'd or he was kind of a little bit like a rescue so he's scared of everything he's anxious he barks he doesn't he doesn't understand how to play well with other dogs so he's he's not nasty at all he just barks and barks and barks and barks <laughs> and he's literally like yap 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 in dogs faces so it's a bit of a problem i mean he's he's fine dogs he knows he's absolutely fine with it's just dogs he doesn't know he's a little bit of a nightmare so so i've been reading up on my skills and then i've been out for a lovely dog walk for like an hour just me and the dogs this morning i've also started doing like a gratitude app so i just had a little sit when i was out this morning it was so quiet and filled in my gratitude app and then yeah i've come home and i also had some nice little smoothies and i've planned my day out i'm gonna have the most productive day today the kids are out with their dad and their stepmom and their sister and um they've all just gone for a little brunch which i'm very jealous about because so it just means that i've got the whole day to myself so i love when i get the chance to have a really productive sunday so that is what i'm gonna do um so yeah i don't look at the state of this little egghead at the moment um i had my eyebrows microbladed two weeks ago and i'm so happy with them it's so nice to get up in the morning and literally not have to worry about it i just feel like i want a few extra here so when i have my top up i'm going to ask her to put a few extra in here just to make this bit here a little bit thicker and bushier and a bit more like natural looking apart from that i absolutely love them and my skin has been breaking out so much i've been back in the gym oh rick bought a gym <laughs> i don't know if i spoke about this on here i think i did went in with this guy that he knew and bought part of a gym and basically the guy's now the, the guy the part his partner's now decided he doesn't actually want to run the gym so Rick's like buying him out so it's basically going to be like him and then another guy who's got like a smaller share so he's been super busy with that and working his normal job we've got a couple of busy months ahead of us um and then the plan is that he'll leave his um current job and do that full time he's the most amazing personal trainer and it's like he is made to do this and so when i see him in the gym and see him with his clients i actually just burst with pride because you know when somebody loves what they do and it literally just shines out of them that's that's what he's like when he does it he's like he loves it and he's so enthusiastic and he's so supportive and he cares so much like honestly, his clients have been taking over every waking minute of his life but he really cares and he wants to help so much. So he's got some online clients and then he's got his physical clients and then he trains me, he's done me like a workout plan, a meal plan, so we've been eating so well, we've been just living a healthy lifestyle and it feels so good to be back to that because I feel like with lockdown I just completely lost my way with health and fitness and I just felt a little bit bleh. so I've lost a little bit of weight I've lost a lot of inches I'm just feeling super happy about it and absolutely loving being back in the gym and also just um just having Rick like support me and train me it's just been amazing um so if anybody wants any information because he does do online clients as well just put me a dm on instagram um and basically what he does is he'll do like a like a meal plan and a workout plan and support like online on the phone 
um, through the app that he works through. It's just fab. You can track all your progress on the app. You can track all your workouts. There's videos of every single workout. You can do them in, at home. You can do them in the gym. It is completely like tailored to see you. So I'm so proud of him with it. It's, it's going really well and I just love seeing him do so good with it. I'm going to go and get myself sorted. So I've just like done the washing but today I want to spend the day just getting organised for the week ahead because I just want to have a really productive week and I've got so much on this week and so much where I've got to be in certain places at certain times so I need to be really organised <laughs> with it all. So I just want to get ahead. I also have been meal prepping for me and Rick so I want to get that done today. I want to put a hair mask in my hair because it is Sunday and I'm trying to religiously do one every single Sunday um, so I don't forget my castor oil hair mask on my hair and then I'm going to spend an hour going around the house. I did the biggest declutter ever. I think it was about four weeks ago, three or four weeks ago. I literally spent about a week of my life decluttering our whole house, every drawer, every cupboard, every wardrobe and it feels so good. Everything has a home. Nothing is like cluttered and taking over our life anymore. My clothes, the kids clothes, Rick's wardrobes, everything we just completely minimise and I can't tell you how good it has been. But um, I've been super busy the last couple of weeks and I just need to like have a little whiz round and do what they call a maintenance declutter. So just go through things and kind of go over what I did a few weeks ago and think right well four weeks has passed and I've not used this so I'm going to get rid of it, I'm going to donate it to the charity shop um, and just do that. So I've got a big bag of stuff to go to the clothes bank by the back door and I'm just going to see if there's a few other little bits. There's definitely bits like, you know when, like when kids put a top on and you think you look at them and you think oh that's it looks tatty or it's like stained or whatever like before I'd maybe just kind of put it back in the drawer whereas now I'm religiously like right it goes in the charity shop box and I need to get myself ready for the day um I've got some new makeup bits to show you which I can't wait to share with you and also I need to just like just make myself look presentable for the day because I literally look a little bit tired I have had my aesthetic treatments topped up. Look at the hole in this running top. I wear this top so much. Look at the state of it. I'm just gonna have to go in the clothes recycling bag. Look at this. Uh, I've been testing out some new makeup over the last three or four weeks from a new brand. Um, and I basically said to them, you know, I just wanna try it all first. So I have been trying it. I've been trying so many of their products the last, I think it's literally like five or six weeks now actually. So many of them have become my um, like go-to product now. Like it's become my favourite lip liner, my favourite foundation, my favourite mascara for everyday wear. So I'm going to show you like my current um, like everyday makeup. I've been wearing less makeup. Although since I've been back in the gym I have gone so spotty. So I'm thinking it must be like the sweat. Because I have not been to the gym the whole way through lockdown like in between or even worked out that much and my skin has never been better and the, as soon as I started back in the gym to, like two three weeks ago I keep getting um breakouts on my chin and I'm so annoyed about it so it must be the sweat so if anyone's got any um products that they think are really good maybe like a really deep cleanser for after the gym or I don't know some kind of like primer that's just really going to kind of protect my skin pores from all that like dirt from the sweat please let me know and it's actually really annoying me because my skin has been amazing and now I've started getting spots so yeah I'm gonna go and put a hair mask on my hair get myself showered and then I will be back and, and we'll go through my current makeup um because I'm actually really liking it at the moment a very natural kind of look so I am fresh out of the shower and dressed for the day I've kind of Oh, just in a very lazy little hairdo today. I've just clipped my extensions in and I'm just going to wear it just back over my shoulders. I am due to get my hair done next week. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait. Um, I actually just used some new, a new product to my hair. I used the Kevin Murphy Scalp, Scalp Scrub. I've never used a scalp scrub before, but it actually felt really good. My hair now though feels, you know when you wash it sometimes and it feels like... 
it's too clean to do anything with because I did the scrub, then I did a double shampoo and a condition and it just feels like so clean because my hair's quite thin. It's like I can't do anything with this now so I'm just going to go for a really easy, just slicked back little hairstyle today. Yeah, I thought while I get ready we can have a little catch up. So I went for my um, Botox. So I went to see somebody new for my aesthetic treatments and I've not shared it on my Instagram basically because it was a bit of a long process. So I went to a place called Clinic in Wilmslow. I actually have like London clinics as well. And I went to an appointment in London. It was last time I went down to see my brother in London and um, I just tied it all in. And I went to see Dr. Roche, and as soon as I walked in, his face was like, as soon as I walked in, I was like, I trust this guy so much because I had originally just gone to have my Botox top up, obviously, since lockdown. Um, last year, I had no treatments for like a year. So I was really missing my Botox. Um, I had quite a few like lines and crow's feet. So, I went to him, it was like four weeks ago now, and I was supposed to get my Botox done, and as soon as I walked in, he was like, um, so we need to do some like re, what did he say, what was the word? We need to do some like corrective stuff first. Throughout lockdown, I'd not had anything done, and I'd had, it was like two years since I had my lips done, and um, they were just a mess, to be honest, they just got a mess and it was just because obviously I've not been to see anybody and it had all been wearing off at like different rates. It had started to migrate into the top, like top part of my lip here um, and it wasn't like too bad where you would be, it was really noticeable, like you wouldn't have noticed on camera um, but there was, you might have noticed there was like a little lump in one of them. They just needed like a fresh canvas. So he's like, right, we're going to naturalise the area, like my lips, and dissolve the filler in my lips. But first I was a bit like, okay, this is fine. <laughs> um, so I had to actually go and see him in the Wilmslow Clinic for that two weeks later, and they basically dissolved what filler was left in my lips. And we had a conversation about that, and he also said to me, like, your <laughs> it was a bit awkward, he said, like, your cheeks are slightly wonky. Um, and I've only ever had the smallest amount of filler in my cheeks and that was two years ago and there's no filler left in them now. Um, these are actually just my cheeks, <laughs> which I've come to actually be really happy with. Um, I think as I've lost a little bit of weight, my cheeks actually have just stayed. So there's zero filler in my cheeks now. These are just my natural cheekbones. Um, but they do stick out a little bit funny here. Like they're really quite pronounced. Um, and I think where my lips had gone, like a little bit off from just not having anyone look at them for like two years. I think it made me look like I had loads of filler in my cheeks just because my lips were like quite big. So anyway, we talked about so many different options and he was like, right, there's a few things we can do. He actually put filler in my temples, which I've never heard of before. And it just balanced out the kind of contrast between my cheekbones and then where my head is quite narrow. I've got quite a small, small head. So he put some filler in my temples here just to kind of soften the, you know, the harsh kind of, soften the difference between where my like strong cheekbones are and then my head is quite kind of, I suppose going like bonier as I've got older, like there's less collagen in there. Um, and then he put a little bit of filler in my nose again. Um, I've had this a few times just because my nose is quite pointy from the side so I get a tiny little bit of filler here and it just smooths, um, it just smooths it so it's slightly less pointy and it's just one of those things that no, probably nobody else would notice but it just me makes such a difference to me. So my lips, the next morning we caught when there was literally nothing in my lips and I thought there was hardly any filler left but then since, obviously I've been getting my lips done for like the last maybe three years and I'm 36 now and they, they just looked like older. So this top lip went quite thin um, I'll see if they can get, send me some before and after pictures um, so I can insert it here because it's actually really interesting to see. So yeah, and then I went to see them last 
when was it last tuesday wednesday last wednesday um and had a little bit more filler in my lips now i've had the most tiny amount of filler in my top lip and the tiniest amount in my bottom lip even after they, they dissolved my lips my bottom lip was so full and i was like oh yeah you know i did i did always have good lips it was just with age they started to age a little bit and like the top lip looked a bit um a little bit less plump so i'm actually really happy i have a very small bruise here um the filler was put in with cannulas which i've had cannulas and also needle um in my lips both times um at different times and the cannula is so much better it basically has less chance of bruising less chance of hitting like i'm ne i mean i'm not an expert on the terms but um bleeding or bruising what dr rush does at clinic is he specializes in corrective um procedures not that there was anything like overly bad to correct but um from his point of view <laughs> there was so yeah i'm actually really happy with them this bruise i'm going to cover up in a minute with my makeup i have this new concealer which is so good um but yeah i just wanted to kind of let you know that and i am always happy to kind of openly discuss like what i have done um just because i think it's just best to be honest and i know you girls um, quite a lot of you are similar age to me and it is those things that you start thinking about I mean this is just my personal opinion but I definitely think like for me I'm glad I never got anything like that done when I was younger I'm glad that was not even like a thing when I was 18 because I think you've got to just let your I mean especially when you're 18 early 20s collagen your face is like so youthful still and I only started getting Botox when I was 28 when I started getting wrinkles and then I didn't get any filler in my lips or anything until I was like I think like 33 so for me it's like little tweaks um to soften the appearance of aging rather than change your whole face shape and I think even though I have been having aesthetic treatments I think the one good thing about lockdown was that it really like showed me like whoa you know you got too much filler in your lips and it, you know you were starting to look a little bit crazy so it's that has been a godsend for me because now I look and I think oh you know he was like I'm hardly gonna put anything in your lips you don't need it at all whereas I think before whenever I've been I mean straight away I've always been like oh my god they're too big and really like paranoid and stuff and I didn't feel like that at all the only thing was like the bruise but they just stayed really they just stayed really like natural and I'm really happy with them because I think they just look a really natural size now they're not over the tops so I'll link below the contact details for Dr. Rush and the clinic um, because I would definitely recommend them I think I've never felt in such safe hands he was so knowledgeable the procedures also were so quick that the pain was so like especially with my lips like it was so quick it was over and done with and all all of the people that were there just absolutely lovely like so lovely so professional and I just felt in the safest hands ever so definitely if you are thinking about them and you are in the kind of area in the same area as us um they do have a clinic in Wormsley but they also have a they have clinics in London too so yeah, definitely check them out. They'll be able to answer any kind of queries that you have. So, I'm going to get my makeup done. So, like I said before, I've basically been testing out a new cosmetics brand for you girls. They, I was approached to work with them um, a long time ago, and I said, look, I will, but I, like, I'm happy to, as long as I get to try the products first, and I actually like them, and I will only kind of share with you guys the products that I do like because obviously with a new range you don't love everything and it's really like I'm not going to sit here and say oh yeah I love everything that they do I've only tried a small um array of their products but but genuinely some of them have become my favorite go-to's the foundations are so good this concealer is an absolute dream I love the brow pencil, the lip pencil and the mascara as well. It's super like subtle and natural for every day. So this part of the video is sponsored by Note Cosmetics but I do want you to know that this is 100% um, an authentic, genuine collaboration because I rate these. They are so good. I would not share anything with you girls that I genuinely didn't think was worth the money. So yeah, they're called Note Cosmetics. They're a new makeup brand and 
they are so so nice so i'm going to show you what i've been doing for my everyday makeup with mostly their products a few of my like trusty favorites in there so i am still loving my bobby brown base this is the vitamin enriched face base by bobby brown and it is a moisturizer and primer in one and it is so good it is so hydrating and it's a really really nice primer then i've been going in with my concealer now obviously i have this lovely lovely bruise here which is very normal after getting your lips done if you bruise very easily like me i also have the little breakouts on my uh, on my chin that i was telling you all about from the dri the gym which is just great i love this concealer it's really Good coverage, but it's also very light and not too over the top. But yeah, this is their full coverage concealer, and I wear shade beige too. Now, this makeup look that I'm going to do today, obviously, I'm not really doing much apart from running errands. I need to go to the supermarket and do my meal prep and things. Um, so it's pretty much my kind of everyday go-to minimal makeup, and basically that's the makeup that I do most at the moment I don't go anywhere I've barely gone out since like the pubs and things are open it's been far too cold for me to sit in a beer garden all night or all day we did go out for a little bit of food with my friend Hattie and her sister Tilda and we went for some food and drinks um, and that was about it so every day I'm pretty much just doing this makeup and You'll see, this concealer is so good. I mean, that bruise is very easily just kind of covered up. And what I do like is it's not like, it doesn't like cling in any wrinkles. It's just a really light, but still really full um, coverage, but it's still really natural looking. So I go in with that. And then there are two foundations that I've been using. There is this one, which is the Luminous Luminous Moisturising Foundation. And this is in shade 102. And then this, which I love, this is, I would say, the top one of the top two products from the range that I love. This is their Sun Glow Foundation. I feel like it's quite similar to the by Terry CC serum that I tried or um, but it does have a little bit more coverage but what I love about this is it is so good at just giving you some color without being heavy or looking like a big foundation whereas this is much heavier coverage so I'll show you this another time when I'm doing like a full glam but day to day this is what I've been reaching for more than anything I feel like once I've got the concealer on, I can just then go in with this, which is much more like just a really nice glowy, kind of like a highlighter. And then it just gives me some color to match my fake tan. So basically I just pop a tiny little bit to start with on my foundation brush and work that in. And yeah, it's just really, if you're like me and you don't want like tons of coverage, but you do like wear fake tan and you want your face to <laughs> match your tan and your neck, um, I think this is such a brilliant product. Just leaves you with such a nice glowy, dewy look, but still a little bit of coverage so you do feel that little bit more confident than with a completely bare face if i am like super pale <laughs> like i'm irish descent so i come from an irish family so i am so pale under all my fake tan um but i can't i can just never get along with a fake tan for my face so i've just given up so this product for me is great because it just gives that little bit of color gone very dark this is such a great everyday kind of foundation I find with like a moisture uh, tinted moisturizer I mean I love my NARS one but sometimes I feel like they kind of slide off a little bit this is a really nice alternative because you can see 
it just gives you just enough coverage but it just do, it kind of looks like you're not wearing any foundation at all it just gives you that little bit of color so i recently did go and get my eyebrows microbladed i think it was like two weeks ago now so they're almost healed but i just wish here i mean it's my fault i should have said to her that i wanted them a little bit bushier so i'm going to get them filled in next time i go um but at the moment i've just been filling in a little bit here on my eyebrows and i just have to sharpen this because it's so worn down from where i've been using it um this is their this is the note cosmetics eyebrow pencil it is shade 02 brown and it's really nice because um it's not too dark so it's really nice for just a subtle color for day to day so i've just been literally filling in this little bit where I just want it to be a little bit, oh, and then a tiny bit at the end as well, so that they're just a tiny little bit more bushy here. That, I just think it makes all the difference for my face shape. So I've just been filling in those little bits, making them a little bit bushier, and then I've still been using my Benefit um, brow gel just to fluff up my natural brows but I'm loving the microbladed life I forgot how good it is to have your eyebrows make microbladed so just generally in the morning I just get up do my skincare I don't even worry about my eyebrows but then when I actually put makeup on I like to just push them up that little bit and then I also have been trying out this palette which is from note this is their love at first sight palette uh, and it's colour 203 Freedom to Be and it's basically got quite a few like warm tones in there which I am loving. I like the black because I've been doing I've been doing like a little subtle winged eyeliner kind of effect with the black with just a brush. This I absolutely love for just a gorgeous like warm colour. And then there's two like nude colours which are really really nice and subtle for a like really super natural makeup and the highlights are fab too. So for natural makeup I've been going for this base here, this gorgeous like nude base colour over my whole lid right the way up to my brows. like that just giving it a really nice base and then I have been using this like burnt orangey kind of colour so I've just been getting a tiny bit on my brush and then just working that in quite subtly to give a really nice super warm bronzed kind of look so I only been using a tiny tiny bit of this because they are so pigmented but you if you wanted to go for a really out there look for a night out, this orangey, burnt orange colour would be so nice for a gorgeous like golden, glam like golden kind of look. I always just very slightly brush it underneath and then that orangey warm colour just makes the blue of my eyes pop so much more. It's just my go-to look <laughs> for my eyes, just a really like bronzy bronzy kind of colour that just really brings out the blue. So for me this palette has been so nice. And then if I feel like it I've been using these like shimmery highlighters. So I've just popped a tiny little bit here on my nose, bridge of my nose and then a tiny bit in the corner of my eyes as well. Literally the smallest amount. And if I wanted to go a little bit more glam I would just get a thin um, brush and just line my upper lash line with the black which is I really like and then this mascara I've been testing and this has become my favorite everyday mascara it gives you the most like fluttery feathery lashes that just look really really natural and look like you're not really wearing too much so these are my lashes before there is literally nothing to them oh I've got a big hair on my face I really need to buy a new eyelash curler. If anybody has a recommendation for a really good eyelash curler, I would love to know because I want to invest in a really good one. Because I find cheap ones just like, just make them look a funny angle sometimes. So 
that is with or without they're just really it's a really nice natural like fluttery lash and the thing I love about these because I am so prone to getting black smudges under my eyes because I mess with my contact lenses so much through the day and like rub my eyes but this doesn't at all so that is just one coat and that is just two coats done so it's super really really natural easy to wear um mascara I'm gonna do my lips next I just put a tiny little bit of lip balm on this lip pencil has become my new favorite it is their ultra rich I'm reading it upside down ultra rich color lip pencil and this is con color sandy 01 now even though i've had my lips filled i still like to just define the outline and this color is literally just my favorite it makes such a difference it also almost matches my natural lip color perfectly which i love for a really natural look and it goes with all of my um nude lipsticks and all my favorites that is with the lip liner on i feel like it just makes such a difference um and i love this color i actually need to go and grab my lip my new lipstick out of my bag because i've been wearing it so much so this is my new favorite it is their matte matte ever limb Ugh, can't speak matte ever lip ink eight hour long lasting and kiss proof and it, it is in this gorgeous nude shade sorry i'm out of breath i'm <laughs> running up the stairs it is matt ever lip ink number one first love beige and i just put the smallest amount on usually in the center of my lips i think it's such a nice nude and just for an everyday look and the very last thing I've done this such an odd way around. Um, I'm just going to actually just go in my contour now. This contour, the reason I'm doing it now is because it's such a very subtle contour. So when I'm just doing an everyday makeup like today and I'm not really going anywhere, this is the one I pick. If I'm going full on, then I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills as always. This is in the colour, it's in the lighter colour. Yeah, light to medium. And it is there... No, perfect, it's their Perfecting Contour Powder Palette. I don't usually use a powder palette, but I thought I would test this one. And I went for the very subtle, um, I went for the lighter colour so I could just get a really subtle contour when I don't want to be full on. Because with the other one I always go quite darker and I use the blush. And this I wanted to just do a more subtle contour. So I go in first with this darker one. And I just use it really slightly just to carve out my cheekbones on this side. And then on my forehead. And I actually kind of use this in place of bronzer when I'm just doing a really easy look like this. I always do under my chin, <laughs> my jawline. Just under here a little bit. And then I actually just use this on my nose as well at the end. Just for a little sun-kissed look. And that is basically all I do. And then I just use this contouring brush just to buff this in. And that has become my new kind of just everyday chuck some makeup on look. I usually do it literally in like five minutes. It was taking me a little bit longer so I could show you today. But it's just super like dewy skin, not too much. It doesn't look... Or feel like I've got too much makeup on and it's just my go-to look now and then I always finish with the spray of this now I've had two bottles of this in all my beauty stuff for so long and I've never used it it is the Saint Tropez self tan impurity spray I know Lydia Millen uses this after her makeup I've seen her do it a few times and I was like I'm gonna try this and oh my god it's a game changer so thank you Lydia the thing I love about using this on top of my makeup is number one, it doesn't dry my skin out as much as if I just did it straight onto a bare face because it really dries my skin out on my face. Uh, fake tan just always dries my skin out on my face. And number two, because my skin is quite fair underneath, 
throughout the day as my makeup wears off because I'm the worst person at touching my face. This just keeps my makeup looking bronzed and a little bit of a tan on my face because as this develops through the day it gives me colour to my face so it kind of just prolongs that nice glowy look for the whole day for me and it just gives a really nice dewy look. So it has become an everyday must to spray this on top of my makeup. So I've linked all the products that I've used below and yeah, like I said, Nook Cosmetics are a new brand and I would definitely believe the hype. I love the products personally myself. If you want a very like, I just find them very easy to use and the fact that they give me this nice little natural makeup look in, in literally no time every day. Um, has just meant they've become a real favourite of mine so definitely going to check them out. I'm going to show you my outfit now of what I'm wearing today because I've got something new on as well. So I've just put comfy clothes on for today. I got this jumper yesterday, it's like a cropped, like it's got the Nike swoosh on it and I actually really like it and then, and then of course my Sweaty Betty 7 8 leggings. I'm going to go and get my trainers on. I'm going to go downstairs, start writing my meal plan for the week, my shopping list and do a mad dash to probably Morrison's I think today and um, because I've got some recycling things to drop off and they have all the recycling bits there. I'm going to show you what I've been using um, basically as our go-to um, like meal prep, meal plan stuff for the week. Um, me and Rick have made a conscious decision <laughs> the last few weeks to really concentrate on eating well, not just us but also as a family. Um, We've been really trying to get the kids eating a super healthy diet Monday to Friday and I've been trying to cut out sugar from their diet as much as possible and we've seen such good results with them. They're just a lot calmer and they've been concentrating on their schoolwork so much. I am like a super strict mum nowadays with their schoolwork. I've brought a thing in where if the boys don't, basically if Albie doesn't get 10 out of 10 on his spellings and if Seth isn't top of the class for his spelling frame uh, for his homework thing each week then they don't get to play football on Saturday and that might sound really cruel to some people but oh my god it works I've never seen them push themselves and work to their full potential as much as I have the last few weeks when we put that plan in place and it is so achievable for them because they're both really bright little boys um, so it's been really good to push them I'm going to continue with that this next coming week so I'm going to meal, just quickly sit down and organise what we're going to eat as a family for this week. Um, I've been doing Rick some meal preps also um, for when he's at work and for me and it's just been, it's been brilliant. It's been really good at keeping us all super healthy, organised and eating well for the week. These are the two books that I am currently, currently pinching recipes and ideas from. I picked this one up a few weeks ago, it's a Pinch of Nom book but it's their Slimming Recipe so everything is cooked like super healthily and also um, most of the meals are, I think it's under 400 calories most of them but they're just really nice recipes. Um, the kids have been eating loads of things, I mean look at this, cheeseburger quiche does not look like a healthy recipe but it's actually 285 calories per serving. Um, I've also been swapping a lot of the like chicken or the beef for turkey because Rick wants to be really like over the top healthy so I've been using turkey mince a lot or corn so that is a great book I would 100% recommend that I will I will link this one below and then I also picked up this this week when I was in the library with the boys after school and this is the meal prep king plan so it does have a whole section which is like a full diet and meal plan section so it tells you exactly what you need to buy it gives you all the recipes what you should eat each day and then it gives you all the recipes here and these are again really nice super easy ones so I'm going to flick through here and I'm going to choose out two recipes to cook Rick for his meal preps for today, for tomorrow and for Tuesday. I mean, look how good they look. Um, and then I'm going to write myself a quick shopping list. Do you know what I found really helpful? I mean, it's been a slow transition for us, I would say, over the last 
maybe six months. Um, but I just don't buy anything ready-made anymore. I buy, I pretty much make all our meals from scratch. I don't make like, I don't really buy like um, ready meal stuff. I don't really buy like jarred sauces or anything like that really. I pretty much make everything from scratch. And I think it's, if you are wanting to be healthier, it's such a good way of cutting out extra sugar, fat, salt from your family's diets. And it's been really, really good for us. And I think it's just, it might seem like, you know when you look through a recipe and you think, oh my God, it's got all these ingredients and all these herbs and spices, and it's actually really complicated. But actually once you stock up your herbs and like spice cupboard, and you make sure you always have things in, for example, like tin tomatoes, passata, tomato puree, stock cubes, Worcestershire sauce, like they're all basically your main <laughs> ingredients for things. So it's just so much healthier and so much easier, like such a healthier way of tracking what you're eating. And it's worked really, really well for us. So I'm just such into the habit of that now. So I don't really buy anything ready-made. And not only is it actually better for you, like health-wise as a family, but it's also better for you cost-wise because I'm making every meal from scratch is actually so much cheaper. It's just having the time to get organized and that's why I try and do this as much as I can on a Sunday. And what I use is this. Whenever I show this plan out on my Instagram stories, I get about a million messages. This is what I use to plan my life out with Rick working two jobs. It's just, it's like my Bible. So today I was like, I need to have a productive Sunday. I need to get organized. So I'm so glad that I'm actually doing this today. This is, it's called the, it's called the Live Rich Planner, Live Rich Planner and it's from somebody called The Budget Mum on Instagram that I just randomly came across. Um, so basically what I do is just plan out all my meals for the week on here. So I just put like what I th want the kids to have for breakfast in the morning. So chocolate porridge I just make really easy, just like oats, cocoa and honey to, to sweeten it. I do them smoothies on Tuesday. They can just have a cereal Wednesday. Baked oats is, oh my God, one of my favourites. <laughs> um, breakfast to have and so easy and healthy. We'll do dippy eggs Friday and then a healthy breakfast wrap on uh, Saturday. And then Sunday, I want to try and make these breakfast muffins, which are basically like egg and like ham and cheese and like, um, like little muffin tray. And then in this column for lunch, I usually plan out what the kids are going to have in their packed lunch box. And then here is dinners and also meal prep. So today I'm going to do the harissa chicken and the chicken bowls. Um, I'll meal prep them and then also do a big one for dinner um, on that day. And then Rick has them in the week to eat as well in the fridge with his. And then here I just have like my little shopping list. So I just pop it all on there and take a picture. I've actually added a little bit here of things I want to get from the weekly market they have because they have the best um, fresh fruit and veg. And we've been getting like farm eggs from the market. And then also we, have, we are very lucky to have a zero waste shop where we live. So I'm going to go in there and just fill up my glass jars of the things I need. So it's sesame oil, garlic salt vanilla extract and also pasta and then it has other little bits so it has like habits and goals here so I usually put like getting up early in the morning doing my 10k steps drinking five bottles of water and then also here this is where I'll put like my chores that need to get done in the house that week so I can just do a few bits each day and it's just great it's got so many things just to like to plan your week out and then it also has your week in view. So here I'll just pop in. I don't tend to use this section as much because me and Rick have a shared, me and Rick have a shared Google calendar. So we just put everything on there. So he puts all his PT sessions, all his work stuff, um, his work appointments. He puts on there Max's football. I put all the three other kids' footballs and clubs and everything that's going on goes on our shared Google calendar. So. Anything I've got on for work, I make sure it goes on there. And it's just so handy to have that together so that you can just always be on top of each other's diaries. We've only just started doing that recently, the last few months. It's been such a game changer. So 
yeah, now I'm all sorted. I'm gonna take a picture of my shopping list and go and get all this food so I can start kind of cooking and do my meal prep. So by the time I actually do that, it's probably gonna be about four o'clock. So seeing as it's Sunday, I'm gonna have a nice little glass of wine <laughs> while I start meal prep. Um, and then hopefully the kids can come back and we'll all have a nice roast dinner together. Good morning. I'm in London uh, getting my hair done today. So I've just arrived. I literally look like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards. I am off to the amazing Vixen and Blush to get my hair extensions refitted, which I know I said I wasn't going to do, but I just missed them and my hair is so thin and lifeless, so I thought I'd get them back done. So I'm just on my way. I'm running a little bit late, so I'm going to go and go straight in and catch up with you after and show you my new hair. We have just done a load of real content and just about to get my hair colour matched up. The amazing thing about this salon is that they have the hair lab inside the salon. So it's all the same day and they get you matched up exactly how you should be. So hopefully we're going to go for about here, which is about 20 inches. And I'm thinking I might dare to just do the bangs, but I don't know. Good morning. It is actually the next day and yeah, I didn't actually film much in London unfortunately. It was just such a busy day. I spent most of the afternoon in the salon getting my hair done. I was so happy with the results. I'll put a little thing in here so you can see it as it was yesterday. Um Danielle that did my hair was so lovely and did such an amazing job of it. I didn't get back till like midnight. I went and met my brother and we went to Sacconi's in Shoreditch for dinner. I had the most amazing lasagna and artichoke salad. Oh my goodness, it was so good. I should have picked my camera up, but I've not seen my brother in so long. So we just chatted and we just had a lovely little couple of hours together before I jumped on my train back. I didn't get home till midnight last night and Rick was snuggled up in bed with the dogs. Um, and then this morning it has just been like a mad rush. It was actually so nice to like be back in London and it was so lovely but then this morning it just made me realise how much I need my early mornings, I need my organisation. Me and the boys are just like running around like mad <laughs> this morning trying to get everybody out the door for school. But yeah, I've had a lovely little morning. I've been for a dog walk taking the doggies for a little walk. Elton was just on one this morning barking at every single dog that we saw and then I've just been down to the gym and done a little workout with Rick and then I just needed to go and do some food shopping so I've been to Waitrose and got like barista milk and basically a load of healthy food. I'm going to do like some, I'm just going to do like some, I don't even know what you'd call them but they're just going to be like, like healthy kind, I suppose like a kind of butter bowl kind of thing but not a butter bowl. I'm just going to do, I was thinking what I can give the kids for, uh, for dinner tonight because it's a bit of a mad night, it's like football and everything and, and it's mine and Effie's yoga night tonight. So I'm going to do a quick tea of kind of basically like rice and then either chicken or, or smoked mackerel because the kids absolutely love it. And then loads of veggies like tomato, cucumber, I'm going to do some grated carrots, I got some edamame beans, I'm going to do some hard boiled eggs and just do them a bit, basically just a big healthy bowl because they, they love stuff like that. And it's a good way of getting a really healthy dinner down them. And um, I'm going to get myself ready for the day. I'm going to jump in the shower, put some makeup on, get myself looking half decent and um, do my hair and style my bangs. I've been to the gym, so I literally just like plaited. Uh, I had curtain bangs cut in. I've been thinking about it for so long, literally for a year. I've been saying, shall I do it, shall I not? And we just did it yesterday. And I really like it. I feel like it makes the hair look more, like gives it more of a like modern like twist, like a younger kind of look. So it's gonna be my first day styling them. I think I might wet them. I've just plaited them up out of the way because I was at the gym and um, I got really hot. <laughs> So I was like, I need these out of my face. 
So I'm gonna do that. Pretty much just got an afternoon of work. Reels that I need to film. I'm actually really liking reels, but oh my goodness, they take so much time to actually do. So I'm gonna do those. The kids actually finish school tomorrow. They are off for half term after today. Well, the boys do. The boys finish tomorrow and they are off then for half term for the week. It's bank holiday weekend coming up and we've not really got much planned. My niece is gonna come and stay with us next week for like two nights, so that'll be really nice. So we're gonna go for some days out. So just need to get organized, need to get ahead on all my work so that next week I can just enjoy the week off with the kids. Yeah, I'm gonna get myself ready because I literally look, I look a little bit ropey. <laughs> and just sort my hair out so I can actually show it you looking nice because it doesn't look it's best right now. And then yeah, I'll be back. So I have got myself ready for the day. I had to show you this dress. It is a little top shop number. Oh my goodness, it is so cute. And it has, and it has pockets. How amazing is that? Also, can we just say, you never ever see me in anything that is bare arms. It just doesn't happen. I never ever wear anything bare arms, but, I'm actually feeling comfortable in bare arm things. My arms are starting to tone up and I am so, I can't tell you how happy that makes me. So I've had to just quickly grab my phone because my battery is dead on my, on my camera. But how cute is this little dress? It's a little, like, it's got like little tie straps. I've actually belted it because it was a little bit of a funny length on me because I'm quite short. But yeah, can we just talk about the fact that I now feel comfortable having my arms out and them not feeling like big old lady bingo wings. So, so big shout out to Rick for that. Oh my God, I never thought I would feel comfortable wearing anything like this. So it's a nice feeling. So it's actually so sunny. I'm gonna get my nails done because literally look at the state of them. But I am gonna end this vlog here because I feel like it's getting so, so long. But I will pick up my vlogging camera tomorrow and bring you along for the day with me tomorrow as well. Um, I'm also gonna start doing some, like what I'm eating and what I'm doing in the gym, like what I eat in the day kind of videos. Um, because I had so many requests for those on Instagram. But yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. Sorry, this is such a long, long video. I love you all so much, and I will see you in my next video.